you to fall to the name of the Lord. Father, we worship you.
to come before God in His presence is an opportunity to take and tap from Him. It's an opportunity to meet with divinity and be transformed and be transformed from inside out. So we have not come before men, men. You have not come to see the faces of your neighbor, but you have come to tabernacle with the Father. You have come to worship Him. Someone lift up your hands and say, I have come to draw. I have come to draw. of the wind, the power of watching you is bringing in everything in obedience to God. He's bringing in everything in obedience to God. He's rearranging everything in obedience to God. He's restoring everything in obedience to God. Tonight, Father, I liberate myself to worship you tonight. Hele Kongsi Barana, give me the garment of worship, give me the garment of praise. Spirit of the living God, Spirit of the living God, let it not be business as usual. Let something different happen. I am not here because I was coerced to be here, Father. Father, let your powerful presence. Saka de 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 Worship you holy. I enter to honor I am sick. I enter, I enter into the holy of holy. I enter, I enter to the blood of the Lamb. I enter, 
like this moment like this transforms life it is in an atmosphere like this. the Bible says God inhabits in the praises of his people it is when God comes down in your praise that he turns situations around in your life so you're gonna worship God in your own way in your own language in your own style in the way he understands you better in the way you have relationship with him so can you lift your voice if you pray in the Holy Ghost if you can worship in the Holy Ghost let that sound go up if you can sing if you can dance if you can shout yeah! Ela pra catara, nena 
in John chapter 24 when the woman met Jesus Jesus told her you do not know the God you are worshiping for the God you are worshiping do not dwell in a particular place or a particular section but the Lord dwells beyond time he has been the God that has been before time he was the one that made time and stepped out of time for time to walk by himself he ordains the heart of man the Bible says he commands his love towards us. He's the one who dwells in the hills, in the mountains, and that he shines his light. He dwells in light that no man can approach. The Bible says he clothes himself with robes of light. He's the God that has been, that will ever be. So you worship him in the spirit and in the truth. That is what our God is looking for. Tonight, lift up your voice, lift up your hands in spirit and in truth and declare the awesomeness of our God and declare the supremacy of our God. He's God over all the earth. He's the ruler of the earth. He's the ancient of days. He's the young that I am, the beginning and the end, the one who has ever been, who will ever be unchangeable. Ship your car. Hey, Alabacada. Hey, no, 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 no. Shed a banana. Hit up on the pole. Hey, Sutayanama. Hey, Labacaya. Hey, Tudanaba. Rabacata. Nimanaka. Hey, Sulabanaka. In Ibo land, they call him the Agune Chobo, the one. Hey, Shalabanaka. Le prada bada kosha na manaka, he la bada koto, le para da kata. He is the one who has ever been, forever will be. In the book of Job, in the book of Job, Job says, "I he is the one that laid the foundations of the earth out of nothing." In the same Job, he says, "He's the spirit." That towards a man that inspires man to do all the things that he can be able to do. In the book of Psalm, David called him the one who is my defender. You remember in Exodus when there was no way he divided the red sea. Who is like our God? Who can be like our God? Has there been anyone that can be like our God? He stands God all by himself. He has been God. He will remain God forever. He will be God. So lift up your voice. Lift up your hands. Worship this God. Adonai, we lift up our hands. Hey, in Labakara Padakaya, Lebanamana, Arabasole, Lebarada. Mordecai told Esther, how much, don't, maybe you were born for a time like this. And I said, maybe God ordained this service for a time like this in your life so that you can turn things around. Listen, you are serving a God who cannot be held with time? Time does not work with our God. In Genesis and Exodus and Deuteronomy and Leviticus, the Bible says if they touch the mountain, anyone that nears it will be slain. But here and now, you can communicate with your father face to face. So the presence of the Lord is mighty in our midst, exceedingly a greatly presence of God expression of presence of God there is a power in your stomach that you need to release there's depth and depth and depth and depth that can never run dry there are depth and depth that at this continue to drink there is so much more for you to drink so can you drink from that power 
I release your said tonight. There is an atmosphere that is available tonight. And that atmosphere is the atmosphere of Jesus. He is here in our midst. Can you release all that is in you to that thing? Hey! Hey! Lord, we give you praise tonight. We bow before your throne. We come as we are. We release our self naked before you. Empty. We drop our pride and our egos and, and our, our attainment before you. We drop our heights before you. We drop our achievements before you. I will say we are not him before your presence. Tonight I see God sitting on his throne waiting for his children to offer to him worship. Lord as we gather in your presence, let your presence be present in our midst. And as your presence is here, do the impossible in our midst. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Hallelujah! Wave your hands, let's worship him. <laughs> let's worship the King of glory. <laughs> Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Where the power of the Lord is, there is power. When the King speaks, there is power. Lift up those hands and begin to worship. Hey, wave, wave your hands and begin to worship. Forget about yourself and worship the King.
victorious. Lord, you are powerful. The most powerful. Father, you are miraculous. <laughs> so miraculous. <laughs> Jehovah, you are unchangeable. Changeable. The unchangeable God. You are glorious. So glorious. So
When I look into your holiness And as I gaze into your loveliness Darling, when all things that surrounds me Become shadow in the light of you when I find the joy of reaching your heart And when my will becomes enshrined in your Lord Lord, when all things that surround me Become shadows in the light of you I worship you I worship you. I worship you. I worship you. Ooh, the reason I leave, the reason I leave is to worship you, is to worship you. You step down into darkness. Open my eyes, let me see. Say how much 
I adore you. Lord, I'm not here to complain about my many trials. For by your mercy and your grace, with confidence, you serve them. Lord, I
never see you. I never see any girl like you. I never see any girl like you. Isi alamo, so so give me. Isi alamo.
dancer. Oh yeah. To the left and the right. To the left and the right. Aka, 
Father, so in your test. Oyama, 
Yeah, 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 yeah. 
say yes. I want to be my weapon. I shot. This is how we must go. One, two, three, let's go. Win, win. This is how I win. The fuck up my worship release upon the earth. The glory, the glory, the glory, the glory, the glory of the Lord is coming down. Are you ready? The blessing, the blessing, the blessing, the blessing, the blessing of the Lord is coming. One, two, three, let's go. He's coming. You remember? Some trust in chariots, some trust in horses, but we trust in the name of the Lord. Some trust in the kings, others trust in the skills, but we trust in the name of the Lord. Say they are say casting down. Come on, say. I will say that's a lifting up. I will say that's a lifting up. I will say that's a lifting up. One more time. Hey, when they say they are say casting down, we will say, we try up in the name. One more time. Hallelujah! Oh! Someone who is excited in the presence of the Lord, turn your hands together with a shout of victory. Hallelujah. Hey. We can't stop the praise. We can't stop the praise. I need I need one minute. I need one minute. One minute of quietness so that you can understand the realm in which we are now. We are in the realm of shifting. Things are already shifting. Things are shifting in the spirit. You know, your boy will say, Soon, I want to cook on soup. I want to get land on soup. I want to get cake and she wanted it. The mountains are moving, the hills are being uprooted. There is a way for somebody through your praises tonight in the name of Jesus.
Listen to me. We are closing this service with high praise. You know, the choir just stole it. Bro, Mike just, he just stole it from me. The exact song we were going to start this session with was the song he led us into. We will be singing it very soon. Fragrance of our worship. We will send it up there. And it will return as weapon of warfare. <clears throat> I would like to read. Let, let's, let's look at Psalm number 149 together. Please keep standing. It's just one minute. I'll read it. And I'll tell us one or two things. I will continue with the praise. But get your offering. Get your offering with you. Why the high praise? We want to enter into high praise of God. So while the high praise is going on, you will drop your offering. During the high praise... Something is going to be happening in the camp of your enemy. The host of God is going to move into the camp of your enemy. The host of God is going to be executing judgment of God upon your enemy. There will be multiple slain, shedding of blood of the wicked. For your sake, that ways may open unto you in the name of Jesus. The turbulence in your place of work. It's about receiving the work of the word of quietness. As we go into this high praise, the host of God will go before you. Level every mountain in that place of work. You get there tomorrow and you will look around and you will say, Am I in the same place? Yay! Because though they that have persecuted you, that have troubled you, that have afflicted you, will begin to celebrate you. In fact, there are some of them, you will look for them from tomorrow, you will not find them. Yay! God will have taken care of them. God will have pocketed them. Some that heard the saying, that heard the voice before, they will suddenly go numb. They will suddenly become mute. They will not be able to raise their tongue against you. God is about to do something on your behalf. So I need you to tag along. I need you to go with me. Psalm number 149. Psalm number 149. Media, you may give us on the screen so that we can read together. Praise ye the Lord. Sing unto the Lord a new song. And is praised in the congregation of saints. Let Israel rejoice in him that made him. Let the children of Zion be joyful in their king. Let them praise his name in the dance. Let them sing praises unto him with the timbrel and harp. For the Lord taketh pleasure in his people. He will beautify the meek with salvation. Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud upon their bed. Let the high praises of God be in their mouth and to edge a sword in their hand to execute vengeance upon the evil and punishment upon the people to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron to execute upon them the judgment written this honor have all the saints praise ye the Lord fragrance of my worship rose up to the Father lightning from his head with have the response to my worship the fragrance of my worship rose up to the father lightning from his hand hey and the response you say for it was fragrant then it turned to fire hey i worship this my way
It looks like some don't understand what we are doing. What we are doing is prophetic. You are raising an high praise unto the Lord. And you are standing, holding your hand, looking. Your whole body, you need to put your body and your spirit into it. You want to provoke the army of God. You want to provoke the presence of God to arise on your behalf. You want to provoke the hand of God to move on your behalf. I don't think this is the time for anyone to look around, to be carried away. This is the last lap, and this is the most important aspect. We are closing on this high note of high praise. In the, last, in the next five minutes, put your body to it. If you have to jump, jump. If you have to run around, run around. If you have to carry something in your hand, carry it. If you have to wave something, wave it. Let the high praise of God let the high praise of God, let the high praise of God rise from the mouth and from the knees of the people. Your place of glory. Oh, your majesty.
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Oh, what an awesome God. Oh, you are so sweet. So sweet. Sweet God, beautiful God. Loving Father, caring God, merciful God. Oh, your presence is glorious. Your presence is beautiful. Your presence is wonderful. We give you all the praise tonight, Father. We return all the glory to you. Lord, you deserve all of our praise. We brought it to you tonight. No other person deserves our praise. No other living or dead deserves our worship. Lord, we have worshipped you for who you are. We have worshipped you for what you have done. We have worshipped you for what you will continue to do. Lord, I thank you for the miracles that accompany praise and worship. Thank you for healing that have taken place tonight. Thank you for victory, for deliverance that have taken place. Thank you for the shifting in the realm of the spirit that we manifest in the physical. Thank you for the testimonies that will begin to come from tonight. Thank you for the phone calls that will start coming in. Phone calls of testimony, of breakthrough, of moving of mountain, of opening of doors of miraculous provision of miraculous upliftment of miraculous advancement thank you for many mighty things that we follow this session of worship be that we exalted in the name of Jesus we seal everything with the blood of Jesus we receive our testimonies with gratitude in Jesus mighty name we have worshipped hallelujah Please take your seat one minute before we share the grace. Uh, the special Holy Ghost night kicks off tomorrow. So Thursday, Friday, Saturday is going to be a special and awesome time. Special Holy Ghost night, you, you will all know that it is in commemoration of the, our daddy's birthday, Daddy Gio, which was yesterday. And uh, we've been having great time with him since, since on Monday. So it will be culminating to the uh, special Holy Ghost night. So you ca it's, it's going to be virtual. So I'm sure if you go online, Facebook, YouTube, on, the, on, on our, our church, Andu, Redeem, Andu, different Andu you will see. You can hook up at any point in time and be a part of what God is doing. And on Sunday, don't let us forget, it's our Thanksgiving Sunday. Come with your testimony. Some of you already have your testimony. Some between now and Sunday, they will rush in like a dam broken. You know when you break a dam, you know how the water rushes. So you will do us a favor. If you can write your testimony down, it will be easier. You know, we might not be able to take everybody's testimony. So as the minister that will be taking testimony, we just hand your own over. Praise the Lord. So it will be easier for yours to be taken because I know that there will be commotion of testimony on Sunday in Jesus' name. All right, let's, let's rise up as we, we bring the service to a close. All ministers and workers, immediately let's come forward for our meeting. Father, we want to thank you for a great time we have had in your presence tonight. Be thou exalted in Jesus' name. As we go, let your presence go with us. Let this atmosphere of worship not depart from anyone in Jesus' name. Your presence is awesome in this place. Cause everyone to carry this presence home and forever cause us to live in your presence in the name of Jesus. For in your presence there is fullness of joy and at your right hand are pleasures forevermore. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we'll pray. The offering we have brought, we pray you will sanctify and use for your glory. You will return unto us in many folds beyond what we have given in Jesus' name. In Jesus' precious name we'll pray. Can we share the grace together in fellowship with the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. How many of us really enjoy today's service? Please don't let the presence of God depart from you. 
go home singing, go home rejoicing, and keep the presence of God intact. Don't let anything take it from you. We'll see you again on Sunday. God bless you.